What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very early recorded video for me. This is obviously going to be my Game Week 29 lineups in any case. We're going to run through all of the lineups I've got, the common, limited, rare, and super rare. Uh, <laughs> but we're also going to draw our winner for the limited card that we won in the common pickup for Game Week 27, I think it was. Uh, so we'll draw that in this video. We'll build our lineups to win yet more rewards and do all of that sort of stuff. Apologies if there's anyone out that you're watching this lineup video now closer to the lock. It's because I'm recording this Wednesday before I'm off to NYC. So let's not waste any time and let's build these lineups. Before we do that though, let's draw the winner. So this was the uh this was actually the video that was in question. Here we built this lineup. I paused it before I've added in the last player. I'm not sure if this will load again. We did this live on stream. Some of the lineup videos that I've been doing have been on stream, obviously, just a little bit before. Just, you know, save some time. That video then won. Uh, what card did it win? I should have had this up. Let's go back here quickly. That video won this card right here once so rare loads. I think it was the Zasumu. Or Dasun, Dasunmu, Dasunmu. I don't know how to say his name. But I think it won that. It might have been the Monte Morris. I'm not sure, but I'll sort out what card it is after. Let's draw the giveaway of the card whilst we have it here. Everything's filled in. It's going to pick them right here. It's just a random comment on the video. And VS Trey has won it. So VS Trey, if you're watching this again, I'll drop a reply on that comment that's down there and we'll sort out how we send the card to you. Maybe just tell me what your so rare name is and send an offer for whatever card this will be. I'll figure it out. But let's do... Um, Let's, let's actually review as well because there might even be another one. Because as we speak from last stream that happened for game week 28, we're 16th in common pickup. I know there's a day left on the games, but we've crushed it in common again. So it's going to be a tier three that's going to be it. Oh, yeah, we can quickly look now. What card was it? What card was it? Dasumu. Okay. VS Trey, send me an offer for the Dasumu and nothing else, and I'll give you the card. That's how it works. And this one in this video. We're also then going to build another pickup lineup to win that common card. If we do win in this competition, guys, all you have to do for that one is go and leave a comment on my very last so rare live stream. That's how that's how I do this. So if we go onto the channel, it will be this one right here, the one of me in the blue. Yet more rewards to open in game week 28 so rare lineups. All you have to do to try and win that card that we might potentially win right here is on that video. Make sure you sub, leave a comment and leave a like. That's it. Simple as that. Right, let's build rewards because we're going crazy right now. Right then, if we're building common pickup lineups, can we win? I mean, I'm saying this like I've already won. I think I'll hold a reward for, for this week. So this could then be potentially three game weeks in a row that we cash in common pickup. So we'll do Luca. We'll run Yanis. Uh, Yanis. We'll run Jaron Jackson Jr. I know Luca says he's out here. They've partnered up with Roto Wire now, which is a, is a good thing. If you now hover over a player, it will say you like his his most recent bit of news or something that comes with it. But I think Luca is is out, but he's expected to be back before the Bucks game. So we're going to run him. We're going to run Jaron Jackson Jr. Just because. The Memphis issues that they've got. I don't love him being the main guy. I never have when I've ever watched him play. But I just like the fixture against Golden State for him. It is the primary reason why I'm going to run him. We're also going to run Derek White because at 28 is too low. And he's playing the Grizzlies. So a little bit of an injury depleted team right there for us. We're also going to go and pick up Josh Hart. Because again, Julius Randle's out. He's playing insanely well in this sort of small ball role that he has. He's done that before. At 19, we're taking that all day long. That then leaves me with 30. And we're going to go for, I think, Anthony Simons. That's what we're going to do indeed. If also we've got enough, we'll do the Eastern Conference. Yeah, it is. What have we got cooking for us in the East? So we can do Jalen Brunson, Britt Lopez. We can't use Derek White because we're using him in there. We'll throw PJ Washington in a big time play for us. Last time out, we're using um, we're using Josh Hart. I don't mind Bilal Koulibaly, actually. I don't think there's anyone in the lower realms. Yeah, Julius Randle's obviously going to be injured. Oh, we've got Benedict Matherin. I'm going to run a Benedict Matherin. That then leaves me 40. I don't think we've got anyone there. Tobias Harris. If I go to 24, is there anyone else that I'd rather have? No. We're going to run that as our Eastern Conference, and we'll see what comes from there. Let's do my limited cards now. <music> 
now obviously as i am off to new york i've been a little bit busy so i've not had time to delve into all of the stats that i'd like to normally to when i build my lineups to hopefully win rewards but also as you all know i've been using top tier projections this year now for the remainder of season two and they've got a lovely little fe feature on their website that i'm going to show you where if you're on your collection in your auto builder you can save lineups so you know who you want to run in certain positions so as a time saving thing i ran this saved them and now when i go back onto so rare i can then build them from there so for example for limited champion i've not got time to go in and think of what mvp do i want to run do i want to run do i this is how quick i'm trying to speak and do this do i want to run some guys in the 40 l 10s and 20s or how do i want to chop and change this but thankfully because of this tool i know i'm going to run a yanis i'm going to run a james harden he's projecting very well so i'm going to run him again chet holmgren who is been a little bit of a letdown i would say in the last few last few games he's uh he's not had that big game that we thought was going to come but he's got charlotte and he's also got toronto so who knows so we're going to run chet then next to chet is brandon miller who is on 25 because of those two games that he flunked that week when everyone thought he was going to do well and didn't and now he's back to it so we're going to run him at 25 who can easily double and then that leaves me with 21 and that's santi aldama was it no it was josh hart really josh hart I almost feel like Santi Aldama should be the play there. And in fact, I am going to run Santi Aldama there. And I don't know why I've just done that, but that's just terrific. That's just terrific, isn't it, that we've done. Actually, do you know what? No, because I might even be at the Knicks v Lakers game. So we're going to run Josh Hart in there. And then in 27, we're going to go and pick up Brandon Miller. So that's my limited champion. Contender is going to be Derek White, Chris Middleton, you know, how they do. Derek White is the... I don't like playing him in champion because Derek White has flunked the bed too many times recently, is what I will say. For when I've needed Derek White to have a big game, he hasn't, is what we'll say, but we'll play him. Chris Middleton, happy to play him. He's got the Jazz and the Mavs. I'm kind of happy with him as that sort of wing to play there. They're then suggesting Aaron Gordon's going to jump in at 24, two games against the Blazers. Sign me up for that one. 18 left, Santi Aldama's on there, and then 14 is showing Lou Dor. Lou Dort's down at 14. Wait, Lou Dort? Where's Lou Dort? Have I gone crazy here? Where's the Dort report? Lou Dort's 18. What have I done wrong? Oh, it's the, it's not John... It's John Conchar. It's John Conchar. It's not Santi Aldama. I was reading it wrong. John Conchar goes in, and then we can throw in Lou Dort. There we go. So that would be the limited contender. I'll build this now. And obviously, when I'm in New York, I'll probably adjust them. But... For the time being, I'm just going off of what we've got as reports right now. And now, obviously, underdog, we can with tier ones in underdog. So we need a somewhat competitive lineup. So let's see what it's built for us. They're suggesting Santi Aldama is going to go in here. And I'm only going to do top tier projections now for my limited. If you want to find out how good top tier projections can be for you and your gallery and winning and crushing the Sora NBA competition, there will be a link down below for you to go and check it out and get involved. Drop the guys over at Top Tier Projections, a DM over on Twitter or Discord. Stay that I sent you, George from the Swingman Podcast sent you, and you'll get a lovely little discount off of signing up as well. Back to Underdog. So we're going to throw Santi Aldama in there. Cole Anthony is someone that, without even looking, I knew I wanted this week because I just, I've got a feeling with the whole stuff with the Magic at the minute on back to backs. When Markel Fultz is back and playing, fine. He won't play in both of these. They won't risk him. I'll, I'll be surprised if they do. And at 16, Cole Anthony has got a double L10 potential in him, is what we'll say. Thibault's also going to go in here because I saw him a minute ago and he was far too low at 14. Drew Eubanks is going to go in here because obviously we all know he's been getting some starting minutes recently with Nurkic's, uh, with Nurkic's issues. That then leaves me with 11 left. If we scroll on down, it's saying Daniel House Jr. And this Daniel House Jr. is 11. Well, can you Adam and Eve it? I can't. Right. In there, limited underdog done. Let's do res. Oh my god, I completely forgot. No, we've got a limited Eastern Conference. So I'm not going to use top tier builder, but top tier builder, top tier projections builder in that one. I'm going to build this myself. Now, Joel Embiid had a big, not big, but he hyper extended his knee from Jonathan Kuminga, I believe it was, jumping on him for a loose ball. It doesn't look great for the big man to be potentially playing in that. So as a result, actually, Luke is out, but he is suspected to be back. I might run Luca here against the Bucks in champ, which then would mean. Why is that not saved? Which would then mean 
for limited Eastern Conference, I can put Yanis as my MVP here. And I think, I think that makes more sense, right? Would you agree? I would say that that makes more sense to do. We'll then throw in Bam or Jason. I'll go Bam because he's got the two games there, but maybe JT is the smart call. What else are we potentially looking at? Ben Simmons is if Ben Simmons plays the game in Philly, I will be shocked. There is no way he plays that game for me. I think he'll uh, he'll pull out the uh, the injury management uh, tag for that one. Do I want Anthony Black on the two games? We could potentially. Let's see what he does for us. If I throw an Anthony Black in there, that leaves us with 33 left for the final two. We've got Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, we're all using. We could throw Jalen Duran in there. That's leaving us with 32 on the table. Doesn't do much for us. If we go up and we pick Jason Tatum, that leaves 24. We've got a Paul Reed, who if Embiid is out, will then play that game. We have the Ben Simmons that we mentioned before. I think Paul Reed could be the play. And that's what we'll do. I don't love 24. Actually, it's not a great play. I wouldn't suggest this. This isn't a, a tremendous lineup. So it might even be the case that I move Yanis back into champion and just try and run out Maxi or someone like that as my MVP. But that's what we'll leave that as for now. Now we'll do res. Right then, we're going to start off with rare contender. And it's because I think I can build my best lineup in rare contender this week. Anthony Edwards is still at 38. Is getting, he's creeping back up towards that really, really high L10 that isn't then viable in contender. But 38, with some of the pieces that I can put around him this week, I don't hate it. So we'll run Anthony Edwards. We're also going to go for a Dante DiVincenzo because he has been in unbelievable form since the Julius Randle industry uh, industry since the Julius Randle injury has gone down. He's uh, he's been unbelievable for them. Him and Jalen Brunson have been doing very very well. We won this Tom, uh, we won the Steven Chenzo card a couple of weeks back. We'll run him in there as well. Markel Fultz is someone I'm also going to run. I know he's probably only going to play the one game. We hope it's the game against the Pistons, but I'm going to run him at 19. That then leaves me with 18 left for two people now. Because they've got a back-to-back, -back, I picked this card up a couple of weeks ago for like $3, I think. He's got an L10 of 7. It's Corey Joseph. He's been around the league for a little while now. But it's because they've got that back-to-back -back set of games on a road trip at Memphis and then the Hawks that there is some scope for Corey Joseph to potentially double. And even the projections are saying triple his L10. That then leaves me with 29 left on the table. So I could go for a Draymond Green, but Malcolm Brogdon is going to be the play there. It is two games on a road trip at Denver, which is never good, but they're not back-to-backs. So I'm more hopeful of Brogdon playing in that than he normally would, is what I'll say. So that'll be my rare contender. Let's do champion, underdog, and also we'll do my Eastern Conference one as well. Let's, you know what? Let's do this as we speak, because in stuff like this, I don't know now where I'd want to focus, because in champion, obviously, I've got a few MVP caliber guys. Like Anthony Davis is definitely an MVP caliber. So is Booker at the minute. He wasn't towards the start of the season. Dame hasn't really. Neither's Triple J. Neither's Bam. Neither's Jalen Brown. Neither's RJ Barrett's at 39, which is just insane. Banker is moving down the 36 realm. So there is some sort of scope potentially to look at right there. So we'll do champion. I think AD will definitely be in there for me. Do we throw Lillard in? Or maybe if we throw Booker in, what can we do? That's even 23 left. Is there anyone down the back end that we like? I think Bol Bol was a game-time decision recently. Yeah, he's a game-time decision. He's expected back tonight. I have a feeling he might play in one of these. So we'll build the team on the premise that Bol Bol does play. That then leaves me with 30 remaining. We've got that Aaron Gordon that we mentioned that's 36. Was there... What was Bancaro? Bancaro was 36. I might even do that. I I still like Draymond Green at 29. Miles Turner at 30 is okay, but he's just screwed me over too many times. That I don't want to play him. Um, Ubre at 24 is good, but one game. Russell Westbrook at 27 is too high now. I think it's going to be Bancaro is what I think we'll do here. I think that makes the most sense. So we'll throw Bancaro in there. And that's not bad, that champion lineup. And also, I could be seeing AD in the flesh in this game if he doesn't sit it out. So we'll wait and see. Let's submit that. We will then also do our eastern conference and don't get me wrong i'm obviously going to be posting stuff whilst i'm away you can find you can follow me on x because everything will be 
there wherever my tagline is here everything i'm doing out in new york will be on x or be on my socials including my so rare lineups that are come closer to the lock for sure now rare eastern conference makes more sense to now have dame in this bam can be a backup guy to him as that secondary big man as that secondary mvp we could throw a jimmy butler in here oh damn of course i need the three rares from this season i don't think i have them because i want to put divincenzo in in contender i've got a josh richardson a Ty Ty washington jr who is definitely getting no minutes he saw he's seen the court twice this year for probably about five minutes combined thomas bryant i could gamble that bam sits on one of those games in the back-to-back -back. and yeah i don't want to throw divincenzo in there so i don't even have the i haven't even got the facilities to play this 50 as the last two I'm leaving 44 on the table. So in theory, I could go out and go and scoop up a 55-point new season Eastern Conference player is essentially what I'd need to go and do. So we'll, we won't even focus on that now. We won't build that team. I might go and do it. I'll see what it looks like price-wise. Because don't get me wrong, there are some players from the East I still want to buy for my gallery. And this now is the reason, and this is probably why they've done this, that you then look at it. But do I necessarily want to go out and buy that for this game week i'm not quite sure is what i'll say but we'll do rare underdog now as a result because we can win those tier ones in rare underdog i now like rare underdog again it now makes me want to put a lineup in there that might do something and i'll gamble on players so we will gamble on a thomas bryant in this for example if i especially if i'm not using him in the eastern conference competition jackson hayes i'm not going to i'm going to play him on i yes i am going to play jackson hayes okay haha ha, very funny josh Kogi, we could throw in there deandre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan's probably going to get minutes because I expect them to beat the Blazers quite comfortably as well. Look at us from going with no season two cards to only playing season two cards here. That's even me then with 26 left. Wow. Uh Andrew Wiggins, 21. Sign me up for a bit of that. And then 32 left on the table. Can't get Jimmy, but we can get Jeremy Grant. Obviously, going to Denver. We like that as the as the matchup. And do you know what? We're going to run that. It, it looks we're, we're gambling on three big men that never get normal minutes or getting minutes. So, yeah, that's uh, that's how we're going to rock and roll in these streets. And then Super Air Contender. Obviously, I still have my Super Air cards. They fit. They fit with an 11 gap. I know I need to go. I, I'm like chipping away at Super Airs. I'm going to get I'm going to do my video on the Super Airs when it comes. But I'll throw that lineup in there when it comes in due course as well. But I mean, guys, that's going to do it. It was a bit of a rushed one. I will be posting my update, updated lineups on my social here wherever it will be down below. Go and drop me a follow over there to stay in touch with everything. So we're at NBA and also the stuff that we do in the States. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment down below because if we do win on the common pickup stuff again, I might be able to give that card away again. That would be nuts. Three in a row uh, if we do win. And yes, yeah, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs as quickly as possible. But if not, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace.